Hi, this is Pastor Dawn Renee McCann from Liberty Life Center. I'm here today to offer you a wonderful opportunity to join with Pastor Vic Hernandez as he changes lives in Punta Gorda, Belize. He has risen to the occasion of overcoming the challenges that are in Belize, and they are many. They face poverty, drugs, teenage pregnancy, and hopelessness. In fact, Punta Gorda has been called the forgotten city, but God didn't forget. He raised up a man with a dream. That man started with 12 people and together they have put action to their vision. Now families have been restored. Teenagers are coming to learn together and to interact with sports, with music and other activities. Children are being told and taught how to be skilled on the computer and finish their homework. They are overcoming. Families are being provided a healthy alternative for their lives and those that were without are now being productive. They have excitement as they move forward into their new future. I believe in this opportunity and I hope that you will too. I'm Pastor Victor Hernandez uh, and I'm Pastor Toledo Faith Outreach Christian Center located in Punta Gorda, Toledo, Belize. Toledo is located in the southern part of Belize and we're at the end of the country that borders Guatemala. In fact, the latest report that came out, Toledo was recorded as the poorest district in the country and over 80% of the people are unemployed. There are so many people that cannot get a formal education, so we said, all right, we're going to train people by, um, by giving them computer skills. We're going to train people with, by giving them a trade, trade school. At present, we have filled our present facilities. And on Sunday mornings, we have over 140, 150 people, so we cannot hold them in the present facilities where we are. And at the same time, we're also having classes in different homes because we don't have the facility to do it. We have a, a room that is being used as a Bible school room. It's being used as a resource center. It's being used as an internet. So, because internet it might be taken for granted, but most of the people here, because of the economic situation, cannot afford internet. And, and they need to do their assignments. The students need to do their homework. So we've opened an internet center. And all this is made available to the community free of cost, where they can come and they can access the internet and do their assignments. We have a community library based in this where they can come and borrow books or they can also access com um, encyclopedias and different helps. We also have the literacy class here that the sister is teaching, that she's teaching the adults how to read, how to write, how to do basic mathematics. And then we also have a young man that will be teaching basic computer skills because we know that the world is computerized now and if we, we don't um, get a hold of learning about computers, they're gonna be left behind. This new center is going to be a multi-purpose building. It's not only going to be a church building, but first of all, the community that this church is located in does not have a hurricane shelter. And hurricanes are, we are threatened by hurricanes every year here in the southern part of Belize. So this will be open to the community as a hurricane shelter. Two, it's going to be a training center, like I said before, to train youths. There is so many youths, and right now, Belize is following the trend of the world. We're losing our youths. There is gang violence and there is so much that that Belize city and some of the other towns have become, I mean, the, the, the rampant. You put on the news and people are dying every day. And we, we are not going to allow that to happen in the southern part of Belize because we are not going to lose this generation of children and youth. We're training them and we need this center because this is going to be a place where they can come, they can play sports, they can um, actually learn a trade. And so this center is going to be multi-purpose and multifaceted. Our people have started building this center. In fact, we've got the foundation poor, we've got the roof columns poor, and the people here have given sacrificially. We have a lot of different people in our congregation. We have single mothers, we have um, people that don't have jobs, but they have given sacrificially because they believe and they have seen the change that um, Toledo Christian Center has done in their life and they believe in it. As you can see, the lives that have been changed from our involvement has been well worth it. Today, we invite you to join with Liberty Life Center and Toledo Faith Outreach Christian Center to build a facility that will accommodate many more lives being touched and changed. Thank you for your consideration to this worthwhile cause. We promise that we will continue to build lives with God's love.